my friends. So we have arrived at the Springfield Extravaganza for the fall and I'm getting a bit of a late start, uh, but I am excited to meet up with some folks. I really wanted to meet up with Amy Yoso Boho and I found out she is at George's booth. So let's, let's mosey on over. Oh, look at that. For your medieval decorating needs. Okay guys, I found George the Antique Nomad's booth with the help of Amy right here. Thanks, Amy. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> so if you're ever looking for George, his booth has a yellow canopy right near a very large tree if that helps you because I sure needed help finding him. And he is wrapping up some goodies for another shopper here. It is very busy. A lot of people coming to say hello. Well, guys, we have finally gotten George on camera. Yay. So, I know you are selling bucket loads out of your booth. It's, it's going really well and I am having so much fun. I just love this. It's so great to do this. The people are so much fun. I love meeting the collectors and seeing what really moves them. Uh, it's fun having, if I have a deal to pass on to a reseller, that's great too because they're excited and then they get to go have fun with their ultimate person. So, sometimes I'm the selling to the ultimate collector and sometimes I'm in the middle and it goes on to somebody else and it's just, it, it's cool either way. Everybody has stories. It's just yeah it's yeah. a great time i agree i love the stories it and feels good it feels great yes yes it's reusing it's repurposing uh, but it's also the connections and the people and their motivations and what excites them all of it is just so fascinating to me i never get tired of it do you know what i get tired of i get tired of estate sale lines do you get tired of that uh well, well you run the estate sale i usually am running it so i'm on the other side so i love seeing the lines <laughs> but i don't like standing in them no <laughs> it's the estate sale lines i get yeah. tired of those yes <laughs> yeah, but there is something to be said sometimes for not standing in line and being the one who comes in right after because I've been amazed how many times I conduct estate sales. Everyone is so busy running to the one showy piece in the ad, they go right by 20 or 30 good items. And then I watch someone come in at 11 o'clock or noon and they pick all the stuff that the people who came at nine and rushed past That's it me. should have seen. There's <laughs> yeah, always plenty. Always. That's the thing. There's always enough. Look at this huge show. There's yep. some stuff here. There's so much stuff here at the extravaganza. It can be overwhelming. Well, sure. we got to talk to George for a little bit. Yay, Thanks so much, George. Oh, I'm so glad I got to talk to you, but I got to go help someone now. Okay, bye. bye. Painted probably 1915 or 20. Look at these fun pillows. How cute. $25. If you are a fan of Moonrise Kingdom from Wes Anderson, this could be a great nod to that film in your home. And then look at the dogs. Look at the little terriers. Let's see. This one's 25 too. This one's a little cleaner, but adorable. So cute. And then, oh, we've got a big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. I like you. I like you, Mr. Wolf. Oh yeah, this is $95. So they like the wolf too. Oh, he's neat, isn't he? This booth has a really nice display. We've got some fall Halloween vibes. We got the gas mask, skull mounts instead of a taxidermy mount. Just the skull is good. Is this metal? No, that's plastic. And this is aluminum. It's very lightweight. Ten dollars. World War One. Rotobin. It's a rotobin, and it's a beautiful minty green. How fun would it be to have this in an antique booth? 
and display all of your littles in it. Fun, fun. Of course, we have to pay homage to the transfer wear. This is 95. The pitcher and basin in the brown. We have a beautiful uh, red turned purple pitcher for 95. Do you see? Look, look at the urn. The urn on it. Love, love that. And she is precious. Let's see. Is this a honey pot? What is this? Child's brown transfer wear, 1860s, $28 for the two pieces. Now, crap. I kind of want that now. Oh, Heather. Why did you come over here? This is beautiful too. But no more pictures. Remember, that's my new rule. No more pictures. In the back underneath here, there's also uh, another beautiful uh, brown transfer wear piece. Definitely uh, aesthetic Victorian period. It's $75. Oh. It's pretty good. Yep. This is the good stuff right here. This is the good stuff. There's a beautiful photograph of a church. It's hard to see with the reflection, but the frame that it's in, look at the carved frame. This is so beautiful, right? Look at the carving on it. It's rounded corners. $160, but look at the clock face. Definitely my favorite piece I have seen so far. Okay, so I'm in one of the buildings and one of the very first booths, the gal, Joanne, she didn't want me to film, but I found a napkin ring for $15 and let me have a free napkin with it. I will definitely show you guys that because it's beautiful. We've got food right in front of me. Okay, I found this beautiful selection of brooches. And look, I'm picking up this beautiful red and pink one. And uh, what you so lovingly called an ear, an ear of a, corn. A stock of corn. <laughs> I think. Well, it's the prettiest corn I've ever seen. Beautiful. So we got those two pieces and a little jewelry box. So. I'm already finding things. Look, I found a little pumpkin man with articulated legs. I think he's adorable, so I'm going to pick him up. This booth is so cute. Just the collar, do you see how beautiful this collar is? And we have some Dresden lace porcelain figurine ladies in this beautiful display box. Isn't that nice? And I was looking at this portrait. This is $18.50. It's too high for me, but I loved the dress she was wearing. Look at all of the goodies. This is cute. Is this a framed trade card? I like the doll on the floor there. That's sweet. We've got beautiful old baby clothes. Look at this entire cabinet full of beautiful little charming pieces. We've got an adorable penny doll. She is $12 with her original dress. She's cute. And then here's a stitched elephant planter for $28. And that's in beautiful condition. Japan sticker. That's great shape. And look at all the cute charmings. Look at Mr. Squirrel in a mitten. Oh, six fifty! How cute! Look, guys, I found buttons. Okay. 
I love these. This is $12. Look at, look at this one. I think that's $7. Mm, the buttons are three fifty each. Yeah. Cute, those are. Those are six fifty each. So I found this <laughs> cute little pamphlet, the people of Petland. See little kitties dressed up. This is from Women's World Publishing. I think I might need this. So this booth is jam packed with beautiful things. Look at the purple cut to clear basket, 85. Uh, there are little Art Nouveau Victorian boxes all over the place. The uh, small ones are at 55. Um, but look over here, look at this. Okay, out of the price, price range, out of my budget, but look at her, look at. I love her so much. And look at the top. But she's $150, you guys. Ah, uh, so pretty. And then look at this beautiful crafted handmade frame. It's beautiful. This was, I think, $75. The tag just flipped. So yes, this was 75, probably from the 30s. I'm not positive, but that's gonna be my guess. 30s, 40s. And then look at this, hand-painted hurricane lamp. That's 85. just a small taste of the eventful weekend I had in Springfield, Ohio this time. I got to spend some great quality time with so many other YouTubers. And I think most of you know who they all are. I didn't get a ton of video. and I only got pictures with about half of them. They were all so amazing, wonderful, kind, and welcoming to me and I appreciate that from each and every one of them. So I am going to include the links to their YouTube channels in my description box. Uh, I definitely encourage you to take a look. You probably know who most of them are, but just in case I can introduce you to uh, a channel you have not heard of yet, I'm going to make sure I include everyone in the description box below. So make sure to take a look. Now, I did get some video with George the Antique Nomad and Amy from Yoso Boho Rescued Treasures. I met Amy for the first time a year ago at the Fall Extravaganza meetup, and I'm so happy that I did. I definitely had a great time. We spent a few hours together walking around. Not only is Amy a wonderful person, but she has an incredible YouTube channel as well. Uh, I'm very happy to now call her a friend. Now, 
Let's go over my haul. I didn't pick up a lot of things in Springfield this year. Uh, let's start with the items you did see on video. I'll try to do that quick, just a review. Let's see, the two brooches uh, that I got together, those I picked up as a bundle for $30. So $15 a piece. I do think this one is a Juliana D&E with the uh, way it is uh, constructed here in the back. It looks like a Juliana to me. And then I, I really liked this either ear of corn uh, or flower, but I loved the combination of colors of the stones. Nice construction prong set. So I did get both of those as well as a jewelry casket, which was wrapped up at the time, but this is what it looks like. I haven't picked up one in this particular shape. I thought this would be a great one if I could find a beautiful corsage to put with it and maybe bring to a live sale. So that was my vision. I would like to save this to be a corsage display. The other things you saw were, you did see this doll as well as this buckle. These were in the same booth as well as the Petland, um, very entertaining brochure. It tells a lot of stories of the different characters in Petland and they're all uh, live animals that are dressed up. And this is from the 30s, if I recall, from Women's World Service Library. So I bundled the Petland, the Victorian belt buckle and the uh, penny doll with the original paper dress. That's what I really liked about this was that it had its original crepe paper dress. And I bundled these for 15. That was the best deal I think I got. Uh, this was originally 12, this was 12, and the Petland was five. So getting everything for 15 was uh, a nice bundle deal. So happy I, I did get a little bit of a deal on something <laughs> this trip. And then I also showed you, I got this. This is a Sarsaparilla trade card. And I really liked it because of the lions on it. And the way it is mounted in the two panes of glass, you can see the front and the back. Um, and I really like how it is already for display. I just find the perfect smaller easel. This is great. And I do plan on keeping this. I do have uh, several things with lions in them. So I plan on keeping it, but you never know. I might be able to part with it in the future. Sometimes things live with me and then I am ready to let them go as I acquire more. You know how it goes. Things come in, you have to let some things out. Because if you don't, you'll be swallowed by your beautiful antique and vintage hoard. <laughs> that actually doesn't sound like a bad way to go. <laughs> okay, so I think that's everything that you saw. Oh no, you also saw the pumpkin man. Little pumpkin man, uh, I couldn't resist him. So he was $3 and I picked him up for myself. I thought he was really cute. <laughs> so I got pumpkin man. Now the booth that I mentioned where I picked up the napkin ring, she wouldn't let me film in there. Uh, but I did get this napkin ring for my collection for $15 and it's a little bright, but it is a Japanese style fan and it has a dragonfly etched onto it there. I think you can see it right there. So wonderful addition to my Victorian napkin ring collection. And she let me pick out the really pretty uh, napkin as well. It's a pretty embroidered bouquet basket. So that was a great deal for me at $15. So. What else have you not seen? We have a few more pieces of jewelry, so let's get that out of the way first. All right, one, two, three. I got mostly jewelry, you guys. All right, so we're gonna go fairly fast. I got this beautiful prong set brooch, and I was able to get this for $5, which uh, that was a great deal. Even though it's smaller, that's still a great deal for red stones and prong setting, very nice. And I got this sweet little piece 
four or five dollars. And this uh, is a locket that opens, but it's a brooch. So I thought that would be a fun piece, definitely to bring to a live sale. Next piece of jewelry I picked up was this larger brooch. It is a classic damascene uh, round, about two inch size, beautiful bird, great border. And that I picked up for 10, that's a beautiful piece. And then I picked up these shoe buckles, beautiful rhinestones, just amazing color on these. And they clip on, these are fun to decorate with. And these I picked up for $10. Um, that might be a little high, but I still thought these would be fun to bring to a sale. Um, just really fun pieces to decorate with. I got this gorgeous brass keyhole brooch, which I have already sold in a live sale last night. Uh, so someone is already taking this beautiful keyhole home. Very cool uh, lion and unicorn represented on that. And then I also got in the same booth this beautiful brass Art Nouveau piece. So these two together were $35, however you want to break that down. Um, but uh, I loved these two and uh, couldn't say no. I had to get them. I have two more pieces to share and these are not jewelry. The first of which I got in George's booth and it was this beautiful half doll, but she also came with legs. And if you've been watching my channel, you know, I have one pair of these in my collection. So when I saw that it was both of them, I was really excited to have a second pair of legs in my collection, as well as uh, this uh, beautiful brunette. So happy to have this little set from the Antique Nomad. And he gave me these together for $25. So thank you so much, George. Uh, I will love them and appreciate them. And the last thing that I have to show you, I bought when I was shopping with Ariana from The Withering Cottage. I really enjoyed shopping with her. She's just such a sweet, beautiful soul, and I love her taste. So it was really fun uh, getting to uh, see the things that would catch her eye. And. I was looking at this doll and I love these composite jointed bodies and it was labeled $50 and the gentleman offered him, her to me for 45. And um, I, I thought, you know, it's a great size, but I didn't really want to pick her up for that price. And so I was trying to explain to the man that she's, she was parted out, like her legs are from two different dolls. And after some time, I was able to whittle him down to $25. <laughs> and the reason why I chose it is because Ariana has suggested, well, you could take the head off and put a pumpkin head on the body. And so I thought, well, maybe, maybe that would be something I could do. Like maybe instead of looking at it as a whole, I could look at it as getting a composite body and a head for the 25. So I decided it's all her fault and I was doing it. <laughs> but a uh, really great size body, even with the uh, two mismatched legs, uh, I think that she's fun, whether I just keep her like this or I take it apart and craft with her. We'll see. We'll see what happens, young lady, what happens with you. So there you have it. I picked up a doll and German head for $25. Not bad. I almost forgot there are two more things that I wanted to show you that I didn't buy, but I did bring home from Springfield, Ohio. Uh, the first of which was from the Dirty Santa gift exchange that happened on Friday night. If you didn't get to see that, that actually is on video over on Fatbird Finds uh, from their Friday night flipping and sipping. So you can watch that. It was very fun. 
And I ended up taking home this incredible glass lion. It's satin glass. It is made by the Viking Glass Company. And Misty had opened this and then Mark stole it from her. Uh, and then I got lucky enough to have a chance to steal it from Mark, which meant that I could keep it. So uh, really excited about being able to take home this Sleeping Lion uh, glass. I'm thinking bookend, or I'm probably just gonna consider it a, a beautiful big paperweight. And so happy about that. And also, I got a gift from Mama Pam. Mama Pam is the mother of Enamor Amy. If you don't know who she is, she brought baked goodies for everybody, but she also found these beautiful tortoiseshell buttons and gifted them to me. Just so sweet, touching. I, I appreciated her thinking of me so much and I wanted to share with you. So this is what they look like and it's full. Just beautiful, beautiful brown color. The pattern variation on them is, it's stunning. So Pamela, I really appreciate this gift. Uh, it's not often I get these kinds of like thoughtful gestures just because, and when they do happen, it, it really means a lot. It really means a lot. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So now you've seen everything that I brought home from my trip. This was probably a longer video. So I do appreciate you watching until the end. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great week. Until I see all of you again, take care of yourselves, happy thrifting, and bye for now. <laughs> okay, we're just waiting. Everybody so, wants to talk to George. Yeah. So, was there anything on your agenda when you came here? To see? To find. You! Stars? I was on the agenda! <laughs> you were on the agenda. The antique agenda. <laughs> I, I, I qualify as an antique, uh, I would yeah, say. Yeah, the antique agenda. Yeah. Yep. So, no, you know what? It's all eye candy. I mean, Mom and I have just kind of drifted, drifted. Looked at everything. Yeah. It's really pricey. Yes. When you're a reseller. Yes. You got to find the flea markets that have the flea market people. That like bring out yes. the estates and stuff and have like deals. Yes. Yeah. Where you can find some good things in the bottom of a banana box. Yes. That they don't value but you do. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's the trick. That's the trick. Go find the cheap stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so some of us decided to go to Young's Dairy, the place is huge. Uh, this is just one of the buildings. They've got mini golf, they've got a corn maze, they've got goats to feed, which we definitely want to do. They've got a pumpkin patch. So we're gonna have some fun. I'm with Michael Todd and Misty and Amy and Lori Ann Sugar Bitches and Cindy, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and Suzanne Sharp. So we are on a wagon that's going to take us to the corn maze. Right, and where does the corn maze start? Over there, like walking distance, but we're yeah. going for the ride. We're going for the ride. We're going experience. for the experience. So yes, this is where we're going. There it is, right over there. Look at that, you can ride the barrel. Whoa! Woo! Here we go. You get shook up before they get there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're in the corn! Corn! Are we staying together? Well, I think we should. Yes, let's stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Stay in your group. There's crickets out here. Make sure you have your buddy. 
Stay with your dad, mother. <laughs> We're at a dead end. I like the flowers. Okay. Uh oh, I think we have to turn around. We're at a dead end. No. We're turning around. Listen. Stepping on people's heels. Let's go straight. No. Oh, we're, okay, we're going. Left. This is like. We're going left. We found Gino and Lorian. Thank you. They're going the wrong way. This is the wrong way? <laughs> Sucker. Okay, I think we've gotten confirmation that that way was indeed the wrong way. So now we're following Lorian and Gino. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> so are we gonna make it out of here Lorianne? Well there's a disclaimer in the front they're not responsible if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so Amy, Pam, and Misty made it out of the maze no, we but we did not. We didn't. No, we really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How long were we were in there for an hour and a half? <laughs> yeah. We were in there around 15. Oh, well, you all got ripped off. We had a good time. <laughs> oh, so we had to surrender at the huge corn maze. Yes. But now we're going to get to go feed some goats. 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 <laughs>